A Granbury woman is demanding to see the video of her husband's death. Tomorrow is going to mark nine months since he was shot and killed by police while on a working trip in Arizona. Now his widow is fighting to see a tape that's given others nightmares. Our Gemma Avalos is here with the reason why. Doug and Kaylee, Lainey Sweet says as difficult and as disturbing as it would surely be to see this video, she hopes that seeing the video in some way would bring her some peace, but she insists it would bring transparency to the handling of a case that she's been very critical of. Lainey Sweet has replayed the last moments of her husband Daniel Shaver's life over and over again. He was shot and killed and um, Honestly, just executed. I mean, he was shot in his face, the back of his head, his back, his chest, and his knee. Though she's never actually seen that moment captured on police body cam video for herself. This is the Mesa police. In May, Mesa police released edited portions of the video, but a judge barred releasing the actual footage of the shooting. And he begged, please don't shoot me three times. His last word was please. According to the police report, Shaver was, quote, audibly sobbing as he was ordered to crawl toward officers. Police have said they believe Shaver was searching for a gun at the time. None was found on his body. A number of people have seen the video. You know, the county attorney had told a former attorney of mine that he was having nightmares over. Uh, watching it. Sweet says Officer Philip Brailsford, his defense team, even Brailsford's father, who formerly worked for the Mesa Police Department, have all seen the video. So really, everybody has except for my counsel and myself. It's why Sweet's attorney is filing an appeal with Arizona's Supreme Court for the video's release. She says the last nine months have been harrowing. She and her daughters attend counseling six times a month. She's struggling with PTSD. This is your high school sweetheart. This is the person, the yeah. father of your children. Are you prepared for that? Um, I don't think anything can prepare you for watching something so senseless and violent. And yet, she says, this is something she has to do. Like, I have to. I have to do it for Danny. I can't just let this all fade away. Um, I have to fight for him relentlessly. Now, Sweet says that she turned down an original option to see the redacted portions of the video because she was told that she couldn't speak publicly about it. Her former attorney did see the video. Her new attorneys have not. Sweet heads back to Arizona for Brailsford's next court date Friday. He has pleaded not guilty to a second-degree murder charge. Kaylee? All right, Gilma, thank you for that.